Hey there crew, Matt here with TRW. In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you in the TRW Design Wizard and Corel Draw how to use our TRW Greek Super Font. So you can see the font here. What's really cool about this font and makes it the Super Font is you actually get two fonts with your purchase on the website. So when I zoom in here, you'll actually see a vector version or a vinyl version back behind that you can use glitter heat transfer vinyl on our bling anything or regular sign vinyl and then we have our rhinestone version of the font layered on top or you could do just the vinyl version or just the rhinestone version so you really have a bunch of different options with this font so let's go to a new page here and let's just say i wanted to do a sorority now you want to make sure with sororities and fraternities there is licensing issues so you want to make sure to get the licensing or talk to the local chapters to make sure that you're allowed to make and use the logo for the sorority or the fraternity so kappa delta here i have this i'm going to choose the actual font so i'm going to do the stone version here so I got my KD here. Now, to make this a two color, I just click on two and bam, rhinestone version of this is done. If I want to tighten up the spacing, I could bring the spacing closer if I wanted. Now I want to make this to SS10 stones, okay? So we have a couple different ways. You don't necessarily have to have the wizard. I know that my point size is 195 and that's in the description on the website to show you the different point sizes for the different stone sizes. So I could have either chose 195 there when I typed it out, or in the wizard, I could just click on the 10 over here for SS10 stones, okay? So now that I have that, I wanna get the vector version of this as well. So again, just to type it out, I'm gonna do a KD, and I'm gonna go to my vector version, and remember our point size at 195 there's our 195 now to make it the two color we're just going to hit the two there and it's going to throw the layer on top no problem just send it to the back and now i have my layers ready to line up so let's say i want to get the colors right so i'm going to come over here and for the vinyl i'm going to use a glitter so i'm going to come over to my magic glitter i'm going to use a green glitter and then a white glitter and then for the stones, I'm going to select the same color so it selects all those black stones. I'm going to use my emerald stones and then select same color again. I'm going to use my crystal stones. So now all I need to do is just line this up. So everything just using my arrows is going to line up perfectly there for us. And let's bring that to the front so those stones are on top. Now we can actually show what this is going to look like. Now check this out. This is where the wizard takes over. We can go to our mock-ups. I'm going to do a quick product. The product I want is an accessory, and I want to do a car decal. Okay, save my product. The design I want is this design right here, right? So I'm going to hit save design. Simulate stones. Create mock-up. It's going to process through, and check out how awesome that looks. So we got our green glitter, our white glitter, with the stones layered on top perfectly a nice little sample to show them what it's going to look like there but this is something that these fraternities and sororities do not have yet they don't have anything like this with the stones with the glitter being able to create a font this easy so that's the whole goal with this super greek font is to make your life easy when it comes to creating something like this so even if you don't have the wizard let's go back a few steps here let's say you're just using designer edition or or just corel draw or make the cut or any other type of software you don't necessarily have to have the wizard watch i'm going to start from scratch here and we'll do that same one i'm going to delete it and i'm going to go kd now with this kd i'm going to let's just say we selected the stone version okay just like i would do in designer edition now i'm going to copy and paste it okay and then i'm going to do uppercase k d once i have that you can just change the color to whatever you want in designer edition and now i have it but to make sure it's the right size for those ss10 stones we just need to come over here and change our point size to the 195 and now it's ready for ss10 stones
okay? So very simple, and then same thing, if I do the KD in the vector version, now I haven't used any of our features with the wizard here, right? So vector version, and I'm gonna copy and paste, and then I'm gonna do the uppercase. So I'm gonna go uppercase K, uppercase D, and then just send that version to the back. And again, in Silhouette Designer Edition or whatever you're using, just change your color. Highlight that and change it to the 195, which is our point size for the SS10s. And then you'll see everything is just going to, hitting the different arrows, line up nicely and perfect there for us. So whether you have the TRW Design Wizard, Designer Edition, whether you have Make the Cut, Sure Cuts a Lot, software doesn't matter. These fonts are made to be used with every software out there. Of course, the Design Wizard is going to make it a little bit easier. You'll do it a little bit quicker, but you can use it in any software, and that's the whole point of this actual font here. So I'm going to provide the link to the font right below this video for you guys to be able to get to the website, therhinestoneworld.com, to purchase this font. But if you have any questions, please comment on the video below here make sure to click that subscribe button we appreciate you guys watching these videos and we'll see you soon later